Welcome back. And um, this is the last of the video that at least at this point, based on what I have covered, I want to stop the content with uh, with respect to we, 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 we still have buffer, but again, um, we're going to learn how to calculate the pH of a weak base. Okay. So the example I chose is ammonia, which was also one of the, the items you measured the pH in the last class. So this is a base. In fact, it's a weak base. So it's going to abstract proton from here. It's Lowry Bronson. So we know this is the conjugate acid and this is the conjugate base. All right, let's actually look at the problem. What is the pH of a 0.25 molar ammonia? Now, got to be very careful when you, um, when you want to um, calculate pH of a base. First, you're given Ka. Well, I've told you, if you got OH minus, you'd be doing a KB expression, right? So KB expression would be NH4 plus OH minus over NH3. Now, you know, KA and KB are not the same. So you got to first find KB, and I told you, Ka times Kb equals 1e to the negative 14, something you do not have to memorize. But if, you're, if, you, if, you, if the situation demands Kb, but you're given Ka, you cannot use Ka directly. It will give you a completely different answer. So you put the value of okay, Ka in the expression, Kb equals 1e to the negative 14, and solve for Kb which would be 1, one exponent of negative 14 divided by 5.6 exponent negative 10. So that's 1.7 or 1.8 e to the negative 5. This is what you will use in your expression, not Ka. Let me pay attention. So this is not what you'll use. If you do that, well, you've got the problem wrong. I, I will make sure I you have a choice that uses this. Okay. Anyway, so we're gonna say do the same thing with the ice table like we did the whole Roman Chihuahua speech that I gave you. It's the same thing here. You're starting with 0.25 molar. This is blank. This is zero. This is zero. This is minus x because we're losing. It's blank again, plus x, plus x. Now I will do one problem down the road where it's not one, 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 okay? But for now, let's just focus on the one, 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 one. So the e will be this, blank, zero plus x is x, zero plus x is x. So we put it in this kb expression, which is x times x over 0.25 minus x equals 1.88 e to the negative 5. As with the previous case, if your value is negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, that is, it becomes more negative, we can make the assumption that this is small, so x squared over 0.25 equals, just simplifies from not using quadratic equation. And standardized exams typically don't prefer you because they don't allow you to use a scientific calculator. And I don't think most of us cannot do a quadratic equation in our brain because it's just, just not that easy. So x squared equals 1.8e to the negative 5 times 0.25. Solve for x. So 1.8e to the negative 5 times 0.25 and then take the square root. So this, this right here itself is 4.5 e to the negative six. And we take the square root of that number. So that's 2.21. So what's pH? Well, we can find pH. That's, that's what I was getting at. You can find pH directly. Why? Because we have OH minus. So this X value corresponds to OH minus concentration, 
which means we got to first find P over H. That's what statement two was referring to. It's negative log of OH minus equals negative log of 0 0.0021, which would be It's 2.67, that's P over H, and pH would be, that's ultimately what the question is asking. It's not asking for P over H, but that's what you can find first. So 14 minus 2.67, 11.33. Okay, as with the last time, I'm gonna get out of the full screen mode so I can circle areas that you need to pay that extra bit attention after you watch the video. Again, first pay attention is you have, you have generated OH minus, okay? Just this. And then that means you will be given Ka, but you need Kb. So you gotta do this conversion Otherwise, your problem will not make any sense. Okay, and again, as with the previous case, you have to pay attention to the Ka. If it is more and more negative, then you can make this assumption, which means the equation now becomes this format. From here, you have to pay extra attention to all your calculations. And then this right here, oh, which minus is what you get, because that's what corresponds to an x. From there, you find the OH, and from there, you so pay attention to the areas in blue, so that those are areas that people typically make mistakes. Again, this problem is not long. I am doing it more spread out so you see what I have done. Um, and that's pretty much all I want you to take away. So this kind of would summarize some of the things you need to know. And then we're gonna move into more titrations, buffers, buffer capacity, and stuff like that. In future videos. All right, so stay tuned.